Hello, it's Mark from Cars and Cameras, and today we're going to replace speakers, blown speakers, out of a 15-inch MacBook Pro. And this is the A1398 model, but this video will apply to several MacBook Pro models. So if you open up your back of your MacBook and it looks like this, um, this may be the tutorial for you. Um, even if it's not, a lot of the removal process is the same. So the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to peel back the warning label covering the battery connector. So that's the first thing we're going to do. And I will tell you, when you remove this, and I've done it many times, um, removing that, that connector, sometimes it can be really easy, but sometimes it's kind of tricky. So when you remove it, what I like to do is, because it is connected to the logic board, I don't want to damage anything. So what I do is I kind of pry all the way around it. So I've kind of loosened it up a little bit. And then what I'll do is I'll go ahead and then kind of force it straight up. Um, I just want to kind of loosen it up a little bit. And then you can go ahead and get it off. So that's the first step. And um, you want to take it straight up. Um, that's the easiest way to do it. The next thing we're going to do after we get rid of that is we're going to go ahead and we're going to remove uh, these three cables um, off of the um, airport card here and um, the antenna uh, wires. And then once we do that, um, then what we're going to do is we're going to remove this connector here. Uh, and then after we do that, we're going to go ahead and remove the card itself. There's a little screw holding it in, and we're going to remove that. Okay, so the next thing after we remove that is we're going to move along and we're going to loosen up some of the screws that are holding in um, the fan on, the, uh, on this side of the computer. So we're going to go ahead and remove that. And um, also at the same time, you'll see as I'm removing things here, there is these wires that go to the airport. You need to kind of move them out of the way. And you don't want to, you don't want to um, move them too much because, you know, it is a very delicate wire. So what I do is I kind of just pull them out of their sockets. Now, to get the um, fan out, you're going to need to re remove that uh, little cable there. And it's basically you just kind of pull it straight up. And you can see once you do that, it'll come right out. So you just basically pull that connector straight up. But you pull it out you know, really very delicately so you're not damaging it. So that's the main thing. Now we're going to work on the speaker on the other side. And um, once we get it, we're going to go ahead and remove that cable. Basically the same process. And we're going to go ahead and get that one out. And, um, you know, I'm going to leave this video playing in real time. I could speed it up, but I think it's a little bit easier if you just see it as we go along. So you're going to go ahead and remove these screws also. And as we get here... Um, we will just kind of follow along and we'll remove these screws and then we'll follow on to the next step. Okay, so once we did that, now we were able to get the other fan out, okay? And once we do that, now we're starting to get more of the logic board. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna remove uh, the actual uh, memory chip from the computer. This is the, uh, the main SSD. You can see it there. And basically, it's just held on with uh, two screws, and it's out. And then, once we do that, we're going to go ahead and remove this data cable here. So you go ahead and remove that cable. And um, just kind of remember uh, where you're kind of taking things apart. And then once we remove that, now what we have to do is we have to remove, um, basically, on this side. It's a little bit tricky is we need to loosen up this other circuit board here and get this, uh, basically there's a lot of USB uh, connectors on here and we gotta kinda loosen this up and get it out of the way. So we're gonna go ahead and very gently take this out and it does take some doing. It doesn't just pull out. You know, a lot of people just like to yank it out of there. But you wanna be careful because if you damage the logic board in any way, you know, I mean, basically your computer is not gonna work correctly. So just kinda take your time and as you do, you can go ahead and remove that piece. So you can see there that does have, it looks like the uh, SD card slot and a couple of USB uh, connectors. Okay, so once we do that, then what we're going to do is we're going to remove uh, this connector here. And we're going to remove that connector there, which is on the top. Basically, it's all the connectors that are kind of connected to the logic board. And then that one there, I believe that one is the uh, keyboard 
Um, so the same thing, you just kind of lift them up. And then this one here, now these, you flip up that little door there. And then when you flip that door up, you're able to slide the ribbon cable out. Now this cable on this side, you're going to do the same thing. You're just going to go ahead and you're going to lift up. It's got like a little, like a little locking pin and you're going to pull that straight up. Now once you do that, you're going to remove that little rubber grommet there. And when you do, there is a little, there is a chrome screw there that you're going to take out. Okay. So now what I'm doing is I'm removing the speakers on um, one side, getting those speaker um, screws out of there. And then uh, we'll be able to uh, remove more screws that are connected to the logic board. And then once you do that, um, you're going to remove um, the remaining screws that are around holding in the logic board in place. And then once you do that, you can start to lift it up. And it's a little hard when you lift it up. In fact, when you're lifting this one up, the the cable for the, uh, that's why I removed the speaker on that side. A lot of people uh, show you and the speaker is kind of holding the um, the uh, the logic board na down. So now you can see once I've removed that, I'm able to remove the screws on the other side, and then I can get the other speaker out. And 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 as you see, I did not remove um, the power connector, which is on the top right side. I did not remove that. A lot of tutorials will tell you to remove that, but I don't like to disconnect things I don't need to disconnect. So you can see there, now I'm able to go ahead and slide out the speakers. And if you look at the speaker there, you look at it closely, you can see how it's kind of torn. And that's why that speaker on that side, and that's usually the one for whatever reason that usually fails. And uh, really the only thing to do is, you know, is convert the volume all the way to the other side, the other channel. And, um, but I like to replace both speakers. I will tell you when you replace these speakers with the aftermarket speakers that they do not sound um, identical to the original speakers. They, the volume is a little bit lower um, unless you go on a website and get the original speaker, but they are a lot more expensive. I also have another video showing how you can fix the speaker and actually they last a long time. It's basically a trick uh, using rubber cement. So look for my video on that on my channel. And so basically after that, we're gonna do everything in reverse order and I'm not gonna go through it step by step. And then once you do that, what I like to do is put the cover back on. And before I get all the screws back in and everything else, I usually um, will flip it over and go ahead and hit the power button and make sure everything works. And it does work here. Everything works fine on this unit. So guys, there's my video on how to repair the speakers or replace the speakers on a MacBook Pro. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and have a wonderful day.